So they give us a couple examples of two numbers that are in scientific notation, and we're going to simplify them, so according to the operation. And it says multiply or divide as indicated, write answers in decimal form. So we see in part A you've got negative 3 times 10 to the 5th times 2 times 10 to the negative 8. All of that is multiplication. So you could write it like this, negative 3 times 10 to the 5th times 2 times 10 to the negative 8. And so then we can rearrange stuff. We're going to take that negative 3 and we're going to multiply it times the 2. And then we're going to think about the 10 to the 5th times the 10 to the negative 8. And so we're going to get negative 6 times 10 to the negative 3. That's the number in scientific notation, but now they want the answer in decimal form. So it's going to be a small number. We've got to go back three places. 1, 2, 3. So it's going to be 0 0.006. That gets the decimal in the right place. Ah, but it's negative, so i got to put the negative out there. And so that's what it would look like in um, decimal form. Okay? So z negative 0 0.006. All right. This next one is division, but again, you have multiplication in the numerator. So it's like you have 8 times 10 to the second power over 4 times 10 to the negative 2. Well, we're going to divide the 8 and 4, so that's going to give us 2. And then what's our rule for exponents? We have 10 squared over 10 to the negative 2. That's going to be 10 to the 2 minus a negative 2 or 10 to the 4th. Okay, so 2 minus a negative 2 is going to be 4. Or you could think about bringing it uptown, and then you'd have 10 squared times 10 squared. 2 plus 2 is 4. You could write it that way. Okay, but that's in scientific notation, and they asked us to put the number in decimal form. So I'm going to have to go 2, and then I'm going to need 4 zeros. 1, 2, 3, 4. I count from the right uh, every 3 to put a comma. And so it's a kind of a big number, 20,000, 20,000. Okay, that's how you do them.